Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Ash from Fitness to Cosplay and I am going to be showing you guys how to use the Streamlabs chatbot. This is completely separate from the regular, oh, um, from the regular, if my task bar can get up here, uh, than the regular OBS Streamlabs where you use to stream through. You can use this bot um, if you're using like another separate like OBS or OBS Live or any other software that you use to go live on Twitch or on YouTube. I use this for when I want to do my special commands with my emotes, when I want to do uh, sound effect commands because this makes it easier and unlike stream elements where it spams your bot with notifications, it won't do this. So what I do first is I go to Twitch by under connections and I hit connect. There is um, a thing on OBS remote where you can actually post up, have a command for video clips. And if you guys want me, that's a whole nother video is going to take a while. So if you guys want me to do a video on that, you guys can let me know. But, um, if we go here, and I'm going to have to show you guys my chat. There we go. Right over here. Might as well bring it over here so you guys can see it. And one of my commands is the love command. And as you can see, it uses my, it, it says it's me and it uses my emotes without me subscribing it to my channel. You go back to connect, you go to uh, Twitch bot and then and the bot name you make sure that is the same name as your channel name This way it'll pretend it'll act like as if it's you and It'll do any emote that you have Another way that I would use this this is where the commands are and I have a lot of commands, but this is where the commands are if you want to Let's just say I'm going to do a new command. Uh, what's my, like, let me see. What's my, I'm going to just say good night. And I'm going to use to have everyone do it. In the response, I'm going to say going to sleep. Everyone have a great night. And then I will use my sleep emote, which is fit. Let me, see, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Fitness, fitness with one S, six, sleep. And if I wanted to make it a, into a sound, this is where my list of sounds are. I will be telling you where those sounds will be. But we're just gonna submit this for now. Okay, here it is, good night. <laughs> okay, here it is, good night. So I'm gonna type in good night. And then boom, there's my emote right there in my chat command because Streamlabs thinks that it's me because I put my name here. So no matter what emote you have, is if it's uploaded to Twitch, it will use it. So you don't have to subscribe Streamlabs or Stream Elements to your channel in order to use your emote. Another thing that I use is um, if you use a raffle to be able to do points and you like in your type of person like me who I will forget to run a raffle uh, periodically in chat, I have it where I will set a timer. I will set a timer and it will run the a raffle command. And this will, it'll do it your, it would, it would do it itself. The command will go through because once again, stream, uh, Streamlabs chatbot thinks is you. Um, this is where we also do like the giveaways. Let me put this here. And this, and this is really helpful for when you want to do a giveaway, but you don't want to open up the stream elements website because with mine, for some reason, um, the web browser makes my stream lag a bit. So this is the perfect one to use for like your giveaways. I use less, um, that won't mess with your stream. 
Um, you can use it for game giveaways, naming uh, specific uh, characters from your game. And it will, you can choose a timer for like two minutes. It'll close it by itself. And then you can be able to pick the winner here. And then once it picks the winner, the winner's messages will be here. So you don't have to go and scroll down in the chat just to see where they are. It'll pop up right here. So you don't have to worry about going on a hunt for them. Next, I would use, well, you could use the sound requests here, but I use stream elements uh, for that because it's OBS Live. So it's connected within a extension in my OBS. So I don't use this, but you could use this here if you wanted to. Now, this is a big one for me because I always wanted to do sound commands. And like I said, with stream elements, unfortunately, it will, if you use a sound command with stream elements, if you have to do it through the stream store, upload it to stream store, and then do either exclamation, exclamation mark redeem, and then the sound command name. And then over here, it will show you, uh, this person redeemed the sound command in, in, in from the stream store or something like that. And it will clog up your chat. And I hated that. And I was wondering how people was able to use sound commands and not have that notification there. And so I found it through chatbot. I have a lot of one, a lot of them here, but I'm going to use my most recent one to show you. First, you have to click on, if you're adding a new one, click on the plus sign. And then you do everything here, but I'm going to show you one that's already set up. And if you already have one set up and you want to go back, you hit the pencil, which is the edit. Here's the name, the volume that I wanted. Everyone is able to use it. Um, you go to pick, you go to your music, and then you choose which one you want to use and it be here. And you can also preview it. So that's where you can preview it. And then here's the volume. Now, please remember to check the volume of all your sound commands because the audio or the volume of one song or one clip uh, might be louder than the other one. So you might have to lower or high or make it lower or high depending on the volume initially in that uh, media file. And then here, this is normally like off. So if you want it as a command, you're going to have to click this to make it an automatic command. Everyone can use it. There's, it normally says one here for the cooldown, one minute for the cooldown. I take it off and then I will hit submit. And then you will go back to the list. And then if you want to test it out, all you have to do And it will play your um, it will play your sound clips. I have I use this for people who are subscribers who I use sound commands for. Like they use uh, sound clips, they use meme clips. So this is a really unique uh, way of doing this and making people feel special who are your either your loyal your loyal uh, visitors or your subs. And also I have one for welcoming people into chat chat as well. People love using that one when they want to welcome people in chat. And then here is one that is for my shell tour people um, and stream and chat bot. You have something called a queue. So if you're doing something like you're touring shells, this is really something that I would say to you to use so you can know who to tour first. And you could just title it. You can just hit the command and then it'll basically put a list 
of everybody who just did it. So if you are looking at their sims, if you're looking at their galleries, if you're looking at their houses, um, this is something where keep it nice and organized and you won't get confused and people won't try to skip the line. This is the counter where, um, where it will put as, um, if you're saying something too much, which is really funny because I say, come on now a lot. I'm going to put it as, let me see. I'm going to put it as, I'm going to put it as not cause that come on that is a little too long. Said, I said, come on, nah. And you're gonna put the number sign here and this is where the counter starts. And then you gotta remember that every time you do the time, every time you do the counter, you have to come here because just because you connect it through the bot of, of your stream before you even start, you still have to come here and start this or else it will not start on its own. So I was, so I'm gonna start this and let me see if this works. Cause I haven't done this in a while. Oh, right. And then it'll show that will show it, but you have to do the command and the plus sign, plus sign. And it'll add here. So if you want to see how many times, if someone wants to see how many times you said something, you have to do it with the command. If you want to add a count, add to the counter, you have to use a plus sign. I don't use a currency um, or the user or the mini games polls are really good to do here too. So it's basically like running a poll. If you don't have stream, um, if you don't want to do a poll, through Twitch, which is only like, this is the command to run a poll through Twitch if you want to do that, do it that way. A lot of people don't know that. So it's slash poll and then it will come up and then it will come up with what you want to do. Here's the question. Here is the select, here's the bars for the selections. And then here's whether you want them to use their cat treats to manipulate the vote. But yeah, if you don't want to do that there, here's a poll, poll option as well. I don't use any of these other items here. I just use it for the sound commands and my regular commands. That's what I mostly use it for. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. I'm happy to be able to do these videos for you guys to show y'all how to do things. If y'all have any other questions with any other software that I use, let me know and I will do a tutorial for that. But I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you so much. So if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.